can send an ultrasonic sound wave from the speaker. Okay. And this wave, yeah. let me redo this. Now we, have, now we, have okay. we send an ultrasonic sound wave from the speaker. It bounces off the hand and gets picked up by the microphone. That way we have to measure the distance from the hand to the screen. We use this in this demo to show tablet also like showing your background off, image um, and it's uncluttered by icons and we only show the icons as you approach to interact with the device so this gives a good feeling of a device that knows that you're there and that you're ready to interact with it here we show that the device is able to measure the distance to the fingers with a high level of accuracy. That's because sound waves go so so slowly in the air, about 1,000 feet per second, 300 meters per second, and we're able to measure the distance from the screen to the finger with high accuracy. But here we show again that we only show the icons when we're close to the screen, and then when we go back, we put our family pictures. I find frustrating on tablets is that to control it, you have to tap the screen for the buttons to appear. Here, all we do is approach the screen, the buttons appear when you approach, and they disappear when you move away. So you don't have to learn any complex gesture, it just works magically as you approach the device to interact with it. Here we have an alarm clock. It's important at night that uh, the light doesn't disturb the sleeper. So unless you're close to it, the screen is turned off and it only turns on when you approach it. And here again, you've got this very smooth in and out motion that allows you to gradually turn the screen on. Here we've got the selfie app, which will test the screen and we'll take a picture of you. Yeah, I'm not sure that one. <laughs> <laughs>